Which, which mic's the cock on? Yeah, yours. This one and that one. Are you gonna be on it? Yeah. yeah. Could you position that mic to be Jacob's gonna play. better? No, not that one. Oh, that's fine. Actually, just get us both in there. The stylings of Jacob Moss. Chickity chick. Chickity chick. Check. 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 Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Check. Check. Uh, no. No. Get get more of me, I think. Oh, actually, I guess it's okay. We can make it work, Jacob. Okay. We, the mics are on, though? Yeah. Yeah. You see that toggle that says red speaker on, on the soundboard? Her job title has just expanded. Boom, her pay grade has gone up. DJ Boom. The red speaker? Yeah. <laughs> Not too up. That's good. Heavy medicine. I feel my eyes are growing red again. Been in the light like Tommy Funky Edison. Been in the desert for 47 days. Purple haze. Been growing on the strange and all the time. Wind and grind and the snatch that behind. Sit and be bringing sin to my mind so whether or not the weather's hot or the weather's cold bringing the light she can't all right well she can't feel me like coca-cola i'm the whoa whoa sweet thing got a lollipop growing mag pop growing herb every day at about five o'clock tick tock strike the high my water eyes hot whoa girl what you got in the pot, I see it, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Hydroponic, grows green, ultra supersonic, or does it grow naturally slow? Organically, oh. ganja babe, my sweet ganja babe. I love the way you love me and the way you misbehaving. Ganja babe, my sweet ganja babe. Come wake my body. Take my mind away Everybody get down to the bungalow Just like the cover of I Want You Woo Tell me, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when the rain comes through? Round up the posse and you bring up the crew Five bugs at the door and you bring your own booze And bring your neighbors cause they can come too Make sure to bring your records cause I only got a few So Bob, Bob, Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, a nickel bag full Some for my partner, some for my crew Some for my ganja babe, she needs two So just like me they long to be high Ganja babe, my sweet ganja babe I love the way you love me and the way you misbehaving Ganja babe, my sweet ganja babe Come wake my body, take my mind away Take my mind away That was Jacob Boss. Stylings of Jacob Boss. Thanks for having me, Corey. I'll be back, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're sure, Bill. We, are, we already know what's going down. So, yeah, we're, we're celebrating tonight. We're chilling. We've got second and third place in the house. Woo! Yeah, we've, we've, uh, we're here. We're high. We're happy. Life is good. It is what it is. And I never drink, but tonight... Jacob, no, don't put that on me. This J this blue moon is dedicated to you. Hey, love you, brother. Love you too, brother. So yeah, we ain't doing much. 
Somebody run down the fucking steps. It's Kojo with the green hair. There he is. The stylings of Kojo coming next. The mixtape. I got the cover for it. It's the picture of me out back. It's a, it's a good one. Yo, Corey, one second and third. Woo! Okay. Cheers. So we might as well take a day after that. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Play Pot Smart, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Chris Crazy in the West Coast. Because without you guys, we wouldn't be rocking in the district, district of Bitch. cannabis like we are. Killing that damn game. Show wig, just like a lumberjack to an axe. What I'm doing, doing what the fuck I want. I won't even ask that bitch, but there. you will. That's the big it's difference. The, the bitch is steady talking, and see, I ain't listening. I'm so, Northern Lights got third in Indica. I, he said it was like one tenth of a point off of being second. So, it was that close in the voting. I know, brother. You're always a winner in my, in my eyes, bro. I don't care what happens. I got a couple little nuggies of it. There's that stuff. 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 <laughs> like in Canada, that dope. Like my aunt told me a long time ago, if you need a bit of money, grow a bit of dope. And I said, Aunt Dolores, I surely will. <laughs> <laughs> that was a conversation I remembered for the rest of my life. And she did. She told me that right in front of my mom. She said, if you need a bit of money, grow a bit of dope. And I said, I'll, I'll grow as much dope as you want. Let's grow it. Grow it, grow it. <laughs> what was that? Back feed? Feedback. Back. Back feed. Feedback. Right now. Right now. Feedback. Hey, uh, hey uh, did you find a trailer for... Han Solo. Yeah. As I roll, Han Solo. Yes. You're after something. Is it revenge? Money? Or is it something else? You look good. A little rough around the edges, but good. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together crew. I'm a driver. And I'm a flyer. I waited a long time for a shot like this. What do you think? Well, what do you know? You got a line on a ship? 
Yeah, I know a guy. He's the best smuggler around. I heard a story about you. I was wondering if it's true. Everything you've heard about me is true. Whoa. <laughs> L3! Let's go with a mean man's face. Who are these guys? If you come with us, you're in this life for good. You might want to buckle up, baby. give you some advice. I assume everyone will betray you and you will never be disappointed. I got a really good feeling about this. Since when do you know how to fly? 190 years old? You look great. Push it! Shit is fucking savage. Savage. That shit is savage. That's all I've got to say. I cannot wait to see that fucking movie. It looks so fucking awesome. Like, for real. Like, you saw the Han Solo shirt I had? Did you see that? The Han Solo what? The Han Solo shirt I had? That was Han Solo with all the different shit, like from when he did the seven parsecs or whatever it was from the, I'm all the whatever it. run. Yeah. Uh, in the Millennium Falcon. Dude, phone homie Rico, him and his son were putting together the Millennium Falcon with Legos. It's a Lego Millennium Falcon. They have one at the Lego Museum thing, dude. And how, it, how big is it? It's, it's not like a life scale, obviously. It should be. <laughs> that would be just, pretty just, cool. Yeah. But it, it pretty much, dude, it's like half of this, the stand, dude. It's it's pretty yeah. fucking big. That's awesome. And yeah, it's definitely one of the dopest things I've ever seen. It's at. Uh, Thank you, brother. It's at, um, I can't remember, uh, in New York City. What, are yeah. the, what is that place uh, called? Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center, yeah. that's the one. That's where the guy told me it was. And it definitely looked like it was fucking awesome. Legit. Yeah, because we've that. all loved, like, if you were a smart kid, you liked Legos. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And they even made Legos for kids that didn't really like Legos that much. And they were called the Big Blocks. You know what I mean? Like those were pretty. Oh, you remember the originals, the Lincoln Logs. Those are the ones I learned. I played with those. Yeah. Well, Lincoln, Lincoln Logs. Logs were old. The they old were the school. originals. Yeah, I remember. I still had the old box that that shit came, came in a can. Nice. Like yeah. it was like a cardboard <laughs> sure. fucking can. Yeah, yeah. From 1980, whatever, two, whatever it was. Probably, I feel like Lincoln Logs went way before that. They were before yeah. that, but I'm talking about they sold them up until the 80s, wow. and then you had to. Then like, there was the Erector set. The Erector set was cool. But I, the I connects or whatever it was, I didn't either. Connects. Like, didn't Legos come out with like sets. the Bionicles at one yes, point? Yes, they did. Yeah, the Bionicles had, like, one. set just wasn't. Did you just get it from McDonald's or something? Yeah, I never really got the whole thing of the of that the the Bionicle right right series. That wasn't a they comic like, book thing that I was into. It was a comic book. It was a cartoon mm. thing, and, and and I mean based off of the. Of the Lego series. Uh, not the other way around. Well, the way they do like Batman Lego uh-huh. and Avengers Lego, sure. whatever, it's that. Exactly that. I see. Like, yeah, it's, it's all right. I mean, it ain't too bad. What other mo- new movie movies are coming out? I like, got, do you I realize? Gotta, I gotta see. I don't know. There's a lot. I mean. Uh, new movies. I still haven't even seen Super Troopers. I haven't seen Avengers. Incredibles 2. That that looks cool. I like Incredibles a lot. Yeah. And the fact that they're finally making a, is there a trailer for that one? Uh, yeah. Let's, I'm, let's I'll, I'll look that, that up. Let's get that thing. That thing. That thing. Get that thing thing. Yeah, we're just kind of chilling tonight, hanging out. Hey everybody, I'm Jacob. I'm not usually on Corey's show, but, but he is now. Yeah, tonight I, he um, has changed to the dark side. I'm the digital content manager of uh, Listen to Vision Jacob Studios. Jacob finally listened to me and came to the dark side. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, my son. I've been trying. Dude. I'm so proud of you, my son. I've been trying, Darth. <laughs> All right, I got the that, ways of the force. I got that shit. Have only clouded your your judgment. In a in a good way. In a good way, but now we've. 
We've put them in. Now let's in, get some superheroes. The powers in sync. Let's check out the Incredibles. Did you wash your hands with soap? Did you dry them? What? Is this all vegetables? Who wanted all vegetables? I did. So, are we going to talk about it? Why? The elephant in the room. What elephant? Mom's new job. It's time to make some wrong things right. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need to change people's perceptions about superheroes. And Elastigirl is our best play. Better than me? <clears throat> Bye, sweetie. I'll watch the kids, no problem. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it this I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Mm, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Hello? Hey, honey. How are the kids? Everything's great. Ah! Is she having adolescence? And Jack Jack? <laughs> He's in excellent health. Num num cooking! Oh, cooking! Whoa! Gay! That is freaky. You know it's crazy, right? To help my family, I gotta leave it. To fix the law, I gotta break it. You've got to, so our kids can have that choice. Thank you, young man. Combustion imminent? What does that mean? Ah! It means fire, Robert. The screen slater interrupts this program for an important announcement. Suit up. It might get weird. I'll be there ASAP. Where you going ASAP? You better be back ASAP. Hey, you better be back ASAP. He actually ha he found a suit, <clears throat> like, immediately. That's nice. Like, well, I mean... Before, you know, he couldn't. Where is my super suit? <laughs> You said that, and it made me think. Like this, this usually I do talk usually about a lot about wrestling, but tonight it's about weed and weed, cannabis weed in the is district good. of cannabis. Yes, it is. I'm quite happy with what. Like this is three years in a row, bro. This is a lot of hard work. I know. I'm proud of you. Like I, I'd love to have the first, but I, I'm not mad at because there's great growers out there. Like I'm great. I know I am. I, yeah. I'm top of the line. Yeah, you are. But at the same time, I'm a humble man, and I understand that I'm not the only one. There's other guys out there that are fucking awesome, too. Props so, to them. Yeah, you just have to be that guy that isn't completely narcissistic and thinks they're above everything or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not that guy. I just grow great fucking medicine. Because I needed it, I grew it. You know what I mean? Like, you you saw the the vacuum and you filled the vacuum, in a way. In my own life, yes. Yeah. Yes, it, it fulfilled a spot in my life that just was not there, like for real. And, and it sounds not only medicinally, but like, you know, for, hobby wise, it sounded you know like you have a relationship with that plant. I, completely, like Planet Earth, whatever that. Uh, what was it, Captain Planet? Sure, but Doctor Doolittleish, like I'm the oh, doc oh. I'm the Doctor Doolittle Captain Planet that can it <laughs> mold plants into his vision and yeah. make them as exactly they need to be. The plant is my friend. I know it quite <laughs> and well. And you are the plant's friend. That's right. I am Earth. I am water. <laughs> Hello, who and, is calling tonight? And you're growing fire. Fire. <laughs> the elements are my friend. I am an empath, so the elements are always going to be my friend. Like, I feel everything. Some Star Trek shit. Some, some, no, an empath isn't some Star Trek shit. It's like some... It's also Star Trek, you but not exclusively Star Trek You want to consider it to a genre, Trek a movie, shit. a something? It would be Lord of the Rings, something like that, huh. where the empath is the person who has to feel... You know, that's why they isolate themselves. Who's the empath in Lord of the Rings? I, I don't know. Mm. I'm just saying that would mm. be like a mm. kind of place where that's that more the fit. vibe you're trying to go for yes there i don't think it was in that storyline at all cool but there was a storyline on netflix that had one like there's a certain sort of like amount that. of empathic nature in 
tokenism. In a way, yes, because you're connected to the earth. Yeah. With every different... Yeah, like the Ents, they're totally empathic. The Ents are the earth because that's their thing. Speaking of Ents, I don't know if you know this. Feeling I don't know, do you go on Reddit at all? No. Okay, so the, the, the subreddit, like the category of the whole site, right, for weed, yeah. for cannabis, yeah. it's called um, Trees. And everybody who subscribes to Trees is called an Ent. An Ent. Yeah. Uh, and the one of the oldest Reddit jokes on Reddit. An ent is like the tree. Remember? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, like the tree people in and Lord the of the trees Rings. Trees are the most like they feel all everything. Yeah, and around. they're part of. So if the Earth gets fucked up, they get fucked. Yeah, they are just nature. like with a plant. If the Earth gets fucked up, that plant's gonna get fucked yeah. up. And yeah. so the the other subreddit that is called marijuana enthusiasts is just pictures of trees, mm-hmm. literal trees. Just trees. It's just yeah. It, I think that's hilarious. You know, one thing that does bother me when I see people printing out twenty-seven pages of bullshit, they're just going to throw into the trash mm. in twenty-five minutes to an hour. Digital is sustainable. Why would you do that? Do you know how many trees you've already fucked up just doing that, and how much oxygen you've depleted this earth of? Like, do we do we really want to live in a bubble? Like, come on, people, let's save our earth. This is it's a little ridiculous. Reuse, recycle, all that good shit. Reduce. Reduce, yes. Like, it gets to be a little sad. No doubt. What other good movies are coming out, bro? Um, so, A Quiet Place, Ooh. I saw, like, I, I was told was very good. And who is in A Quiet Place? Psh, beats me, man. I'm going to look it up right now. The right meow. Right meow. 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 Uh, quiet. Uh, God damn it. Why did I take so long to do this? Oh, director is John Krasinski. Who, Krasinski's great. Yeah, he's, you know, he's the... the a little the, darker, but he's great. He's the main guy from The Office, Jim. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's good. Right? That's hilarious. He has a beard. His comedic touch on everything is the shit. Yeah. Go ahead and crack in, that. In a similar way that, um, uh, you know, Jordan Peele in Get Out yes. kind of had like a... He he's able to create a dark movie with his comedic ability. Yep, exactly. Because but comedy is art. It's a very high form. You got to be able not to given enough credit in every aspect of everything. Definitely. Like you when need I to talk be... with Danny about that when he's doing his comedy mm-hmm. shows and he tries to pick like a, a whatever you want to call it a topics and shit. Yeah, a bit. <clears throat> yeah, like it's it's pretty neat the way they try to go through topics and all that good kind of shit. But go ahead and roll that one. All right, let's do it. what the fuck it was about yeah but that's actually kind of good because uh you know my my lady my girlfriend samantha um saw it and really wanted to show me uh but you know it's not really piratable at this point because it just looks like shit when you yeah try. And, but, and they've made that piratable shit kind of hard too. yeah exactly but she uh she was like she really didn't want me to know anything about it before i saw it because she really liked it and she's not really a horror movie chick but she was like very enthusiastic Into about it. 
I mean, it does look kind of interesting. Probably if you get into what the plot is actually is, but right. I couldn't quite grasp what, what the fuck was actually even going on there. Right. Um, so it wasn't really. <laughs> it's just general. Yeah, let's horror find movie another shit. good one. That, uh, ready, Ready yeah, Player just, One. Is, Ready Player One looks yeah. fucking awesome, bro. I definitely want to see that ASA. I'll pull that dude. trailer up uh, momentarily. Yeah, that one looks like. Do you know anything about it? Yes, it was a book. It looks right? like a thir- like a apocalyptic kind of thing, like where everybody's living on top of each other. Uh huh. And you wear like this thing to get out of that world, like a virtual reality thing. Oh, and you go it, into the, the, the real world, world sucks. It's kind of the Matrix, sort of Matrixy in a way, but like a poor Matrix. Hmm. A poor man's matrix. Uh, yeah. right, let's roll it. Yeah, go ahead, crack it off. My name's Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego, like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner. But he died when I was a kid. My mom too. And I ended up here, sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere except the Oasis. A whole virtual universe. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. Who is this Parzival, and how the hell is he winning? Find him. This isn't just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis, the world's most important economic resource. And it's nothing less than a war for control of the future. Welcome to the Rebellion, Wade. Many of you, I only came here to escape. But I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis. Was that Iron Giant? That was dance? Iron Giant in the front, what? yes. All of them were on there, like Wreck It Ralph. All of them were coming out like ready to fuck shit up. It's pretty badass. I'm ready to fuck shit up. I'm always ready to fuck shit up. God put me on this fucking earth to fuck shit up and grow weed. You grow weed? weed? No. I do not. No. I wouldn't know what you're talking about. No. It's not weed. It's a flower. I like flowers very much. It's not a a weed. Hey. While I'm talking about flowers, don't let me forget. Okay. Potomac Hydroponics in Hagerstown, Maryland. Get all your growing needs. I don't care what you need. It's there. We've got it. Check it out. You need to know how to do it. We can show you that, too. Hagerstown Hydroponics? Hey, no. No, you doesn't fuck me up. Pot- <laughs> Potomac Hydroponics, brother. Ah, okay. In I'm, Hagerstown, Maryland. If, if I'm as fucked up as uh, your normal viewers, then I need a second... Uh, run around of the name of it. So. I wouldn't remember it the first time. That's why yeah. usually I play the little clip like six times. So do it one more time. Potomac Hydroponics. Potomac, Maryland. Okay, yeah. Just like the Potomac River. Yeah, Potomac Hydroponics you know, in Hagerstown. In Hagerstown, Maryland. Cool. Yes, it is. I will. I will check it out. There you go. If you need to grow, that's what you do because that's where it's right. And flowers. I it don't is care right. What you grow? Any kind of flower, or anything, vegetables. You know, yeah. your botany needs, period. You are covered. Hey, can I play another song? You sure can, Jacob. Sweet. As long as it's not the same song. No, no. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> fucked up, right? Yeah, you never know. 
I didn't think you would, but. Let's put on this lens real quick. Lens? Yeah, so it gets a little wider. Fish eye it. We can have a little bit more film. We can fish eye it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Phone power hey, down. Turn those on. I guess we're done with Instagram Live. The phone power is down. I've got to go find a bar. There it is. Second and third. Before the phone dies. I'll see everybody soon. Wow, that's a better angle. Hey, Corey. Hi, buddy. What's up? No, you're, yeah, no space bar uh, needed. Space bar? Are you writing um, paragraphs? You're, are, you used, are you used to re do, doing re referendums? And <laughs> your, your show is about, like, wrestling and stuff, which is fighting and uh, sort of close to murder. And this song is about murder. No, you're not trying to kill people, but... I, 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 sometimes, didn't, I didn't write the song. Sometimes the heel wants to kill the face. Yeah. So it's like a, It was just a little while past the sunset strip They found the girl's body in an open pit Her mouth was showing shit but her eyes were still wide Gazing through the fog to the other side and Threw me on the women, threw me deep in jail With no bail, sitting sound on a rusty pail Just gazing at the marks on the opposite wall Remembering the music of my lover's call uh. So you make no mistake, I know just what it takes To pull a man's soul back from heaven's gate I've been wandering in the dark about it long as sin But they say it's never too late to start again Oh when, oh when Yeah, the spirit come a calling from my soul to sin Oh when, oh when Yeah, the keys to the kingdom be a mine again It was dark as a grave, it was just about three When the one with this key came to set me free He gave me five dollars and a second and suit A pistol and a hat and a worn out flute So I took the bus down to the Rio Grande Where I shot a man down on the edge of town Then I stole me a horse and I rode it around Till the sheriff pulled me in and he sent me down he said, you make no mistake, I know just what it takes To pull a man's soul back from heaven's gate I've been wandering in the dark about as long as sin But they say it's never too late to start again Oh, when, oh, when Yeah, the spirit come a-calling from my soul to sin Oh, when, oh, when Yeah, the keys to the kingdom be a mine again Well, the sheriff let me go with a knife and song. So I took the first train up to Oregon. Oregon where I killed weed. the first man that I came upon. Cause it never works quick, you know, it don't take long. You gotta watch that guy. Then I went to the river for to take a swim. You know, the black river water is as black as sin. Then I washed myself clean as a newborn babe. Then I picked up a rock for to sharpen my blade. Oh, when, oh, when, yeah, the spirit come a calling from a soul to sin. Oh, when, oh, when, yeah, the black river water washed me clean again. Oh, when, oh, when, yeah, the spirit come a calling from a soul to sin. Oh, when, oh, when, keys to the kingdom be a mine again. The stylings of Jacob Moss.
Let's hit some sauce. Like Jacob Moss. Rocking on the toss. My man never gets lost. Hey, thanks for having me. Love you, brother. <laughs> hit some sauce. Hit some sauce. Like Jacob Moss. Candy, candy, candy land, candy land. All crazy. It's do the it, term do, do, God, do, bitch. Do yeah, Chris do crazy. I'm a south side south nigga. South throw it all in your face. Beat your feet. Use a waste of space. I'm saying. Turks, 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 good dope only. I snob my good dope only. Turks, 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 turks. And sure enough, I got the song. Hot snob mob. Shout out Chris Crazy. Fuck a whole lot of china glass. Uh. American meat. Uh. Butter glass. Uh. Smoke it up. Uh. As phone homie says, uh. turp it up, slab it down. You brown banana eating bitch. Bang, banging all around. <laughs> Take that shit every which way it comes. Bud loose. Ain't even get loose. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what she says. <laughs> I knew it was coming. What? What the, was coming? The kebab. <laughs> it always comes. Do you mean the... Uh, the after, the after effects, effects of the death. death. Kebab. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Sick. <laughs> like, that's how the kebab was introduced. Because Chris Crazy kebab... And it got viral shit. I so, thought that involved like saliva. <laughs> 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 a true kebab is when you almost puke. Oh, I was not aware. Which a lot of times, a lot of guys hold that back. Yeah, I, mean, I do. Most it's of not time. manly. It's to, you know. well, <laughs> it's not fun at all. It's when you get a really big dab and you can't control those functions. So then you lose your snot. <laughs> oh, Snot's God. running. Oh God. <laughs> Phlegm's coming out your throat. Actually, I've done two your dabs. Eye, your eyes are bulging out your head. Yeah. And you're hanging over the rail outside, throwing all that shit up. Oh, my. I've done two dabs in my life, and <coughs> I, I puked the day that I did my second one. Not directly from the dab, but I got really high, and then I went and took uh, shots of whiskey. Dude, one of the first ones I ever did in, he, in the studio. Nice. I was out front hanging for a half hour. Yeah, tell me I about your first dab ever. My first dab ever. Did you even, like, I feel like you were born doing dabs. No. Dabs I had to become accustomed to. Right. Do you remember your first one? <coughs> or was it like a series of the first one? A series. Yeah. I had to learn about what it. What was it like? It was great. Oil was the future. You loved it. I love flowers, don't get me wrong. Because regardless, the flower is where the oil comes from. Right. Without the seed, without the flower... <laughs> we don't have no any oil. Right. Repeat. Can you tell me about the first time you ever smoked weed? Yes. Please do. I actually can remember it. Tell me. <laughs> it was like a, I don't remember, 10-year-old or 11-year-old birthday party. Nice. You were, you were that age? Yes. <laughs> with my friends on the back deck of his mom's house mm -hmm. with a can and a guy who was like two grades higher than us. Those rascals. That goddamn bad influence. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. But no, I don't, that might that was one of the first times. Uh huh. And because <laughs> I can't remember which one was exactly first. Sure. Because another time when I was ten or eleven in the mountain. In the mountain. Sorta of where we were from. Um, were you a dwarf? 
<laughs> kind of. <laughs> In I, the mountain. I, I ate mushrooms and became one. Mm. <coughs> I smoked out of a little tiny buckhorn. A buckhorn? A piece of a buckhorn from it. Cool. You know my story about my first time smoking weed, right? Beastie Boys concert. It, that was my first time being high. <laughs> yeah, I went to a Beastie Boys concert with my dad. Uh, and my mom, actually. We, the three of us smoked. Uh, but my first time ever smoking was at a Chili Peppers concert with just my dad. Pops I was 12. Thanks, Dad. It was awesome. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Uh, and and you, you raised me well because now I don't even smoke weed at all. <laughs> like, not that that's necessarily a positive thing, but I just, you know. It's just not your thing. It's not my thing. Everybody has their but niche. But I really appreciate it. Obviously, because I'm here working at the Listen Vision. <laughs> and I'm you just, obviously have no choice at this point. Right. I'm secondhand high every single night So hopefully anyway. you can handle the second high, secondhand high. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can handle a first person high. Like, it, it's fine. I just don't prefer it to being sober. <coughs> it's not your thing. Yeah. I, I, like, for everyone watching, you know, I prefer tripping on stuff. On Not on toads or like paint, but you know on he psilocybin. Trips I choose bubble gum. Yeah, I, I trip on uh, pebbles. I trip on lace bubble gum. I, I trip on twigs in the forest. Twigs. Yeah, like they're too I big. I thought you said Twix at first. I was like, you got no. Twix? Kit, I trip on Kit Kat. Kit Kats. <laughs> oh wait, tasty cakes. <laughs> I'm supposed to be kicking you off now, oh, but this it, is kind of my show now time. too. It's yeah, like our show. We're here. And like, Jacob has always been our show, dude. Yo, Corey's the man. Shout out to Corey. Shout out to Tim Hydroponics. Shout out to DZ Growers Cup, second and third, Indica and Hybrid. Hell yeah! <coughs> As always, I'm consistent. That's three years in a row, the top of seeds. So there it is. As it always is, McLeaf's Ring Smoke. Goodbye and good night. Bitch.